guys i'm back once again with another video today is the third day of the adan asafotu family festival 2024 and today is saturday today is a day bad day when the chiefs and the people and the special guests and others from different different places to go to the park to go and listen to the history of Ada Asavotu Fiamme and the reason why they are celebrating Ada Asavotu Fiamme festival. So very soon you see the women, those that will be marching to the park, you see them lining over here, they will line up here with the different different clan with their chiefs ahead of them. And last year the chiefs were not carried based on one or two issues and so guys in case you are new to the channel you already subscribed here can you subscribe to the channel after subscribing don't forget to turn on the notification bell to, uh, uh, so that you don't miss any important video that i post over here <laughs>
Abraham Kabo, a quoi go de term. Paramount, the Adan traditional area, and president of the Adan traditional council. Your Excellency Nana Adudankwa Akufu Ado, President of the Republic of Ghana, Chairman of this historic occasion, Royal Highness Jia Hoho Yao Jebi II, President of the National House of Chiefs, and President and Paramount Chief of Sefiyamiyaso Traditional Area. A guest of honor, the Gamanche. The Royal Majesty King Takite Kochuru II, Government Chair and President of the Gun Traditional Council, Professor Obuade Odaivio Nocheni Odaivio Wolenti, Head, Paramount Chief and President of the Nungwa Traditional Council, and also the Acting President of the Greater Accra Regional House of Chiefs, Dudowa, Honorable Ministers of State. Honorable members of parliament, honorable district chiefs, executives, Neneme, Naname, honorable assembly members, distinguished invited guests, our proud sponsors, fellow citizens of Adan State, our friends from the media, ladies and gentlemen. It is my great pleasure and delight on behalf of the Adan Traditional Council and the good people of Adan warmly welcome you all and here in Gadet to this very important, currently uplifting and historic Grand Deba of our annual Asafoto Fiam Festival. Mr. President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the theme, as in nature, the old gives way to the new. For it is the position of new people universally. Therefore, the general expectation is that every effort, morally and spiritually, should be made in preparing the people in readiness for their inevitable leadership role in the future. It is in light of this very important matter that nations all over the world formulate and implement policies towards developing leadership capacities, capabilities, and potentials of their people for the huge task that lies ahead of them. It is in building, in this building a process, parents, families, religious institutions, and society at large are major stakeholders in ensuring that moral, spiritual, mutual respect, and other godly virtues are instilled into the people so that the toll of our forebears do not go waste on the platter of reckless abandon. It is from this premise, ladies and gentlemen, that the character, behavior, and attitude of the people of this generation is of great concern and leaves much to be worried about. Your Excellency, our special guest of honor, distinguished divided guest, ladies and gentlemen, as our sacred identity, Adan, and for that matter, Dangmes have been the Dangmes as a well-organized cultural identity. From time immemorial, discipline and order have been the roots of our identity, expression, and practice. This is deeply woven into the fabric of our domestic, communal and family life. Mention the traditional name of any Adan citizen and you can tell not only the sex but also the clan one belongs to, the native village, parentage and the position occupied by birth in the family. This is our cultural articulation of and our way of defining one's existence as a continuation of life and as part of a whole. As a Fotufia Miyasa festival itself is an expression of our being part of the value, excellence, and victories of our island forebears. I want to passionately appeal to the people of our dance state 
and the nation at large, especially the youth, in whom our collective hopes and aspirations for the future are vested, that it takes great discipline and unalloyed commitment and dedication, the intrinsic human values and virtues to succeed in our collective endeavors as a people of a common heritage. This is what our forebears did to leave us this great legacy of space called the Adan State, from which we all proudly derive our identity and our sense of belonging as a collective, and which was what informed our choice of the theme of holding the discipline. Last year's Grand Deva, which you graciously attended, I acknowledged our joy and gratitude to you for granting the Songo Lagoon lease to Electrochem Ghana Limited for the restoration of the lagoon's resources for the people of Ada and the nation at large. Your Excellency, there have been some misunderstanding in some of our communities over who owns salt as a mineral and consequently who can give rights for the mining of salt. Even though the laws of Ghana clearly vest all minerals in the President of the Republic of Ghana and for and on behalf of the people and leases in respect thereof can only be granted by the Minerals Commission. What is more worrying is that there has been some political infiltration, infiltrations that has sought to urge people not to accept this massive transformation currently ongoing in the Adan State. Even though the contestations are gravitated to the point where Parliament, upon peer petition, set up a joint committee of mines and energy and lands and forestry to look into the issues, I am happy to observe that the consensus being reached is on deepening the extent of local participation in salt mining and to allow the company to carry on with its work. I am also happy to note that quite satisfactorily, the company has agreed in principle to allocate portions of its concession to groups that will apply to produce salt. Progressively, the company has already granted areas to five groups and will ad grant additional spaces to new applicants and provide them with brine for their work. This is in addition to the company plans provisions, which are built to modern standards and are available to communities where the company is currently operating. All these being done in fulfillment of Electrochem Ghana Limited's corporate commitment to the people of Adam. Infrastructure. Your Excellency Nana Chairman, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I also respectfully laid before you last year some infrastructure deficits in terms of road networks which are key to expediting the development plans we envisage for the Adan State. To this end, I made a passionate appeal to Your Excellency for consideration. Key among those were roads surrounding the Songo Lagoon and its adjoining salt bands, where all the salt production will take place from Nakom Kope to Colorado, running through Tofloko and from Kablevu running from Adan West through to Pute to Totope in the Adan East District. I also brought to your Excellency's attention the fierce threat of sea erosion in some coastal areas in Adan, which is a result of global warming through climate change and the consequential effect of rising sea levels, which if not tackled with construction of a solid sea defense wall, will jeopardize the resource of the Songo Lagoon and its great socio-economic prospects for now and the future. But Your Excellency, I wish to state rather regrettably that in spite of my fervent appeal in this regard, the situation has been made more precarious by the recent water dam water spillage that has taken over some villages on the islands of the Adan and destroyed their small businesses and their resources or their sources of livelihood. However, Nana Chairperson, ladies and gentlemen, in all this, Your Excellency will remain resolute and unfazed in our determination to face the odds with optimism 
and the courage to move ahead and succeed. And I believe you will never abandon us in this great quest to prove the indomitability of the human spirit. I believe that from here, Your Excellency, you kindly cause the relevant state institutions to address the stated infrastructural deficits and oversights that have been waiting too long to receive the requisite attention. Not forgetting the serious challenges we face by the health delivery facility in the Adan traditional area, the Adan District Hospital, and issues pertaining to improving education delivery.